a very good morning guys sorry about the noise this video i'm just going to show you is an actual repeat but it is my best selling video of this year i'm just going to show you maybe like three or four minutes of it and if you want to watch the whole video then i'm going to have a link in the description below i hope you enjoy it and this one is just basically for people who haven't seen the video or were unable to do it it's just a little bit of a recap and again see the full one description below thank you because of the video quality of the videos i'm going to show you in the 720 let's get on with it heavy rains in inner mongolia lead to the collapse of a dam Okay, so what you can see here, I have slowed down and you can see this happened due to heavy rains of the summer of 2021. And I was looking for this footage for a very, very long time indeed. I haven't taken, I've taken out the sound of this so you can actually see the actual dramatic effect. It moves on to the second frame and you can see this is after the whole dam has collapsed and there's a small tsunami of water which goes into the plains and rushes down at an incredible speed to collapse bridges and also to flood highways, freeways and motorways which you can see here. It's, this is what happens when an old dam is not maintained it is absolutely shocking and when it does reach the city and the subways you can see unprepared for any kind of disaster like this and it's just again words cannot describe what the people must be going through now the good news related to this is that the chinese government the ccp are saying, and we have shown before, that 50% of the over 90,000 dams in China are, are at, did beyond repair, but they are going to try to repair or dismantle. But China is also promising um, neutral carbon, carbon free, no pollution air by 2060, but they're still putting in coal. So they do want these renewable energy sources done because to put in another 45,000 dams at a minimum cost of, let's say, 5 billion each one is going to make China bankrupt, even if it may be bankrupt already. We just don't know. I think China just keeps on printing money, basically, and just circulates it in this country, not letting the world um, with stock market financial exchanges go on. I'm going off topic with that. If it's true with this, if it's true, well, then that's good. But if it's just the usual thing of the government just talking the talk, promising everything and nothing happening, just talking and then showing a couple of videos on the state media, like Global Time, for example, saying, yep, we've done that, everything's okay, the five-year plan is done, let's move on to the next thing. And that's exactly what we're going to do and move on to the levels of the Free Gorges. And the levels look like this. Kutan has gone up again at 170.25, but the Free Gorges, centimetre by centimetre, is going down and 169.83 the inflow has gone up to 7000 and the outflow has gone up again at 7540 again there are no images related to this there's no webcam this is only what we can get from the numbers when the flooding starts possibly in or when the heavy rains come in march april time and possibly the webcam will be lit up again and they'll show that everything is fine with the free gorges we have shown a video of one of the cranes that have been repaired close to the spillway gates a couple of or last week i think i actually sh showed that 
Is it under repair again? Are they just closing the cam so the Western world cannot see? I really hope you enjoyed that. We do have another episode coming up a little bit later today, all new material and something that you really definitely need to see. Thank you. Bye-bye.